Hello everyone. Hello. It's Barry here. Welcome to my Virgin Kitchen. I'm joined by Mrs. Barry. Yes. Yes. You sound like you're going to say something else then. I don't know. It's Barry. How's it going? <laughs> Tell everyone how you're doing. I'm very well, thank you. Yeah? It's been a long time. It has. You enjoying your new job? I am. Do you miss your old boss? Don't worry, Mrs. Barry will be back doing more videos soon in the new studio. Will I? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's all right. Yeah. <laughs> Today we're testing some more kitchen hacks. This is part of a playlist we've done before, which you guys seem to like, right? Yeah. We, we muddle our way through some hacks. We're doing five today. Um, you don't even know what they are yet, do you? No. And they don't always work? They don't. We're not using the microwave, are we? Uh, no. Do you remember what happened last time? Yes. The fuse went. But we, we have got, got a new one. We've got a new microwave, Yay. so let's not use the microwave. Yeah, got a lot of stick for that. <laughs> when are you changing that microwave? So we've got it done. Uh, the true. first hack we're going to do is involving... Mango? Uh, mango? Mango. Do the mango one first. Yeah, we'll do the mango one. I knew that one. Yeah, now this one. To easily dice a mango, slice it in half, then cut the grids into the two halves, then yeah. invert the slice to cut the cubes. Okay, so you cut it in half and you you, you slice everything up in, whilst the mango, whilst the flesh is still in the skin. Yes. And then you just... And then you it invert off. it out. I've got two mangoes, so should we both give it a go? Okay, I've just put hand cream on, so my hands are a little bit slippy. Lush. You ready, Mrs. B? I'm ready. Right, so we've both got a mango. Slice it in half. The sun is being crazy today. Normally when I do it, I normally like peel <laughs> oh. it. Oh, how did you do that? Just pulled it really hard. That ain't gonna look very good, is it? Right. I don't know. I might need you to help me, please. Yeah, but there's nothing in it to slice now. Are we supposed to slice just that bit? Yeah, I reckon so. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe oh, we just get like... yeah. There's nothing, is there? Maybe we just get like rubbish Maybe mangoes in the UK that. or something. This is a mango, isn't it? Yes. Are you sure this hack was for a mango? Yeah. These it's are just meant to like score, score it, aren't you? So then it. Oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna do it with this side as well. Okay, so we score. I don't think I don't think there's enough flesh in this side though for it to work. No. It's gonna look very unique. And then you're gonna go like that, and it's. <laughs> Like that? Yeah, but there's no mango in that. No. Then how are you gonna? Look, yeah, it's supposed to go like. Slice it off like that. Ah, oh, there you go. We've got. Ah, yeah. oh, there you go. Yeah, that's not bad, is that's it? That's it. But then how do you get it out of the skin? Like this. Yeah, well then you're supposed to just slice it off. Yeah, like that. So you have like the squares. So that does work if you're using a normal mango. You look like you're forming some sort of dive. Look, that's the whole stone. The, the stone's bigger than the mango. I don't think these mangoes are quite as good as other ones you can get. You know, like when you see an avocado in, from America compared to the ones we get here in the UK in the supermarket, they're never really quite as green. They look more like a dinosaur egg. Do you know what I mean? But yeah, you're supposed to just invert it. Oh, gosh. <laughs> uh, yeah. I think it works, but I think use a mango yeah. bigger than the size of a baby potato. <laughs> it even shows it on. Yeah, I was about to show them to top things off. On the packet, it even shows. Sorry, Mrs. Baron, covering your face right. up. Look, that's how it's supposed oh, to look like what? that. Do you know what? Look at the. Did you see the back of the packaging? No. Oh, you slice off the cheeks. Yeah, but then those mangoes were so small, it was pretty much the size of a lemon. Yeah, you slice around it and then do it. <sighs> oh, that makes so much more sense. Why don't we think to do that? I might go to the shop and go get a mango, like right now. I don't need to go to the shop, we have got a cheek sort of left, okay? Let's see if we can do it, folks. Sorry about this. Oh, there we go. That, that is stone right there still. So oh, that cool. is literally okay. the slice of mango. That's the cheek. That's hardly worth it. Well, let me have a go at slicing it then. Really lovely beam of light coming through the kitchen oh, at the sorry, moment. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah, there that? you go. There you go. Yeah. We but then do another line down and yeah, make sure they're nice and deep. Yeah. Yeah. And then just do another line, I think, long ways as well. I think we've done this. I think we've smashed it back. Hey! Yay! But look at all that wasted, like, there's, there's good Don't flesh worry. around there. But well, yeah, what you're supposed oh, to do then. Cool then. And then you just do that bit. Yeah, you just sort like of that. trim off a little nodule. Let's have a bit each. It works. Mm. Nice. For this next one, Mrs. Barry. Yes. I lied. We are going to need the microwave. Oh, no. So we'll oh, turn our microwave on. We're going to make hot chocolate yeah. using the microwave, hot milk, and truffles. Oh, wow. That sounds amazing. It does, doesn't it? Yes. Add chocolate. Daddy! 
Uh. It's a little fit. <laughs> I managed to the little fit. I took the lid off to ah, so it was ready just to go. Gushed milk all over myself. Okay. <laughs> Let me clean it up. The dogs will lick that up. Hang on. They love that stuff. The lid is off. Thank you. <laughs> Add chocolate truffles to a mug of hot milk to make your own premium hot chocolate. Okay. Right, Cold don't... milk. That's enough because it when you put the truffle in it will. Oh yeah. Explain. <laughs> Explode, it will get bigger. I'm not that thick. Sorry. I'm thick, but I'm not that thick. Right, no, microwave. So we'll warm that up for a minute. And what flavour truffles have we got? Salted caramel. Salted caramel. Favorite. So hopefully Ooh. we have our salted caramel hot chocolate. Look at these, these are a bit posh, wrapped in tissue. Oh wow. <laughs> they're wrapped in tissue and then they're like, there you go, shove them in there. <laughs> Can you open them? I've Please. I've got to do it carefully. Look, there's a little bit of sellotape. <laughs> I'll tell you what, if we use one of those, the rest ends up being a bit of a romantic gift for Mrs. Barry. So, um, happy Valentine's Day for next year. <laughs> Thanks. Milk's ready. Oh, there we go. Hot milk. Woo, can you see the steam coming off that? You probably can't, but there is. Gold. They are good. I like gold. Right. Right, ready? You drop a truffle in, I'll eat that one. All right then, thought you would. Ready. <gasps> I don't know why, Joe. <laughs> Sorry. Mmm, that's amazing. Right, mm -hmm -hmm. Okay. Oh, look. It's, it's Ooh. This is such a good idea. I'm going to do this all the time now, as long as it tastes nice. It's actually a lot like the hot chocolate sticks. We did a video recipe on that oh, yeah. about a year ago, didn't we? And it also reminds me of the Nutella hot chocolate too. Mmm. It is changing colour, folks. Ooh, caramel sticking to the bottom. Caramel? Oh yeah, you can see. There you go. Can you see that right at the bottom there? Really scrape it, that's it. No, look. Do it gently. <laughs> Why do you have to do things and get it everywhere? I don't know. I'm just trying get to... Off. Get a bit like... No. I feel like I'm part of it, like get it. Oh dear. It's got a like a bit of a mystical trail of different colours on the top. I do like that though. <laughs> I don't know what that face means. It's just like, what is it? It's, I don't know. Oh well, look, the top has gone all gold and shimmery. Oh wow. Oh yeah. See the shimmer. That's pretty cool. That's Have another taste. I don't know. You don't know? It's like very, maybe you need to add another one, maybe. Oh yeah, look. <laughs> add another one? Look, 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 you can see the layers. That's cool. Very milky. Well, do you want to add another one in then? So it's like your weekly calorie intake. Well, in not, not mine. <laughs> no, not mine either. Second truffle is in. Want to see if that makes it any better? Oh no. Needs another truffle. <laughs> Needs another truffle. No, is no, it really? no, no. That's good. It's very, very sweet now. Is it? Can I have a go? Try it. That is a just very, smells like milk though, but that's a very um, chocolatey hot. Oh wow, that's beautiful. Yeah, better with two. Mmm, that's really really good. I like that. This next hack, uh, Mrs. Barry. Yes. Um, I've washed out a bottle of. Oh, see the jerk sauce. We basically, um, I've seen this one online a lot. Uh, it means that what you can do. Can you see oh that? Gosh. Smell it. Smell it. I can smell it. it smells lovely and clean. It was. Is that uh, not going to make the pancake batter taste of that? It's a used jerk Pepper, sauce bottle so it's a bit and it still does smell of the jerk sauce. So um, essentially what you can do is put um, your pancake batter into a squeezy bottle and it makes it easier to dispense. So we're going to make some pancakes that might smell of jerk seasoning. <laughs> <laughs> and then we put the screw lid on it and it should hopefully make it easy. You might be able to do pancake art. Pancake art? Yeah, people uh, wanted to see a pancake art challenge once. Oh, art. Yeah, so where Lots. like you do like little faces and stuff. So sorry, sorry, I gotta sneeze. <laughs> sorry. Oh, excuse me. When Mrs. Barry blows her nose, good job you didn't do that on camera. It is honestly like the horn of a Titanic. <laughs> but we'll accept your sneeze. Bless you. It's because I couldn't blow my nose until I was like. You couldn't blow your nose until you were like what? Like fifteen. <laughs> no. <laughs> Like nine or something. Really? Like well, you didn't have the confidence. I don't know. I, I just, don't know how to do it. I just remember not blowing my nose at one point. I don't know. And then suddenly being able to do it. Ah. Pancake batter in our jerk sauce bottle with a nice sort of small squeezy lid thing on there. Should we go to the pan? Yes, let's go to the pan. Mm. Lubricate in the pan. A bit of spray oil. Now, I think Mrs. Barry and I are both going to do a little bit of pancake art to try and I don't know, see if this theory works. So obviously it's gonna squeeze out, that'd be cool, but let's try and do a face or something. All right then, so do you wanna do one first? Yeah. 
Ah, uh, no, <laughs> it comes out quite generously. It's good though. Yeah, it works. That's my <laughs> smiley face. <laughs> what, is what is that? Uh, okay. Well, what we do is we let this bit cook. Yeah. And then, like, give it like a 20 seconds or something. Yeah. And then what? And then we flip it, because it should be coloured, right? Yeah, should be. Should be. I'm going to... Yeah, we've got to be careful. I'm going to do the eyes. Pancake art. If you get, you've got to flip it. And if you get yeah. too much, you're not going to be able to flip it. And I go like that. Why? To fill in the gaps. All right, so I basically just made a normal pancake, but <laughs> I'm quite happy with it. It was good though. It works, right? It you worked. haven't got to get the ladle everywhere. We've got a nice squeezy bottle. Oh, I was smelling the bottle. Like a jerk seasoned pancake. <gasps> hey! Gosh, Sorry. <laughs> I stood really close, warm me. It comes out fast. What the heck is that supposed to be? <laughs> a heart. <laughs> It comes it's like out. a bum. Looks like a bum. <laughs> <laughs> You've done a bum. Yeah. Well, that, that's quite tricky to get it out. Well, I think different bottles have different sort of nozzles. This is quite a quick one. It looks like, yeah, sorry. Mate, you've made a bum. <laughs> so on the pancake cart, what they do is they fill in the gap. So they cook it so it's brown and then they fill it all out. So it's one big piece still. Do they? Yeah. Yeah, that's it. So hopefully your bum's going to be brown. <laughs> it's going to be a heart. I think we're just making pancakes. Oh, wow. No way is that a pancake. That is a pancake. How have they got it all covered? No way. So Mrs. Barry, that. That's what we have to aspire to. I don't think we're going to be able to do it using a... We're just not very spot. good at this. Right, I'm going to flip. Are you ready? Yeah. Watch your face. Are you steady? You may move because okay. I'm going to hit you. Alright. Oh no, I flipped it right <laughs> over. Hang on. Did a 360. Hey. There you go. Oh look. Oh, yeah. There's a heart. See? The heart. Needed a bit longer. So meanwhile, while Mrs. Barry's finishing off her pancake, one of the most popular toppings that goes with a pancake here in the UK uh, is just sugar and lemons. And lemon. And that actually works into our next hack. Ah, oh, good thinking, Batman. So we've got sugar and lemons. Are you nearly there, mate? Mm, no. It's in the feature length edition, right? I'm very impressed with these pancake art pictures. Yeah, they are good, they're aren't they? They're pretty cool. Let's never try that. Oh. Tongs can be used to juice a lemon. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing to that pancake. <laughs> anyway, it. sugar, lemon. So what we do is we take, I'm gonna take the tongs there, right at the end. The thing is, yeah. there are pips, oh no, there's no pips in this, but make sure there's no pips in it. And then, apparently we squeeze the tongs. Oh, oh. my gosh, it's going everywhere. <laughs> you... No, aren't you meant to, wouldn't it be better if you help? Oops. <laughs> what? You put me off with squeezing. What, what am I supposed to do? Hang on, I'll show you. This is just some ploy to make better one than me. Mine's, mine is now literally just lemon juice with a bit of sugar and batter on it. Oh, that's a... <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Has that just gone in your eyes? No. It's only on, on the lens. Nope. Wouldn't it be better? You're <laughs> holding it like chopsticks. Right. Is that working? Yeah. Okay. Gosh. Not bad. <laughs> but it's so yeah. much easier if you just squeeze it and like you can catch any seeds out with your hand then as well. Or use your little juicer gadget that you've got. The juicer is amazing. Or use this. Yeah, that is the best. This is just really one good. of those where you just juice it. But anyhow, yeah. I'm going to try the most lemony infused pancake ever. Mmm, that's tangy. Needs more sugar. How about the heart pancake? Heart. It's a bit, maybe I cooked it a bit long. <laughs> is it tough? How'd you like your pancake? Medium rare? Well done? Mmm. Mmm. There we go. If you would like to see a pancake art video, let us know. You just like, missed that, but we just um... <laughs> like all four of them. Yeah, we set all the smoke four alarm smoke off. Smoke detectors go off at the same time. If one goes off, they it hold, all yeah. goes off. It was like a nightclub in here. Oh, and the dogs were trying to get out, escape <laughs> outside. They were like, "That's off." For this last yeah. hack, imagine that you're in a hotel room and not in our front room, okay, or kitchen, uh, and yeah. you need a panini, which you've already made, right? Go with me. Okay, so you've kind of brought it with you for yeah, a yeah, snack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you've got tin foil. And you've got iron in your hotel room. 
Right, so you've got, ah, I know, you've made it at home and yep. you've wrapped it up in tin foil to take it with you. Yeah. And then You're you've planning. got there and you've thought, I know, I'll just order room service. No. No? <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, sort of. It's kind of like, mm, I need to cook this panini, but there's not the facility to do it in this hotel room. Oh, okay. I'm with you. So you use an iron. Oh, that's why you asked me to get the iron. Yeah, also need my shorts ironing. So for this, we're using an old side of my chopping board. Don't mind if that gets burned or singed. We need a panini bun. Do you want it on steam? <laughs> Do you want to steam it? We're not getting creases out. Hang on then. We're just driving heat in. So I bought some non-stick foil because I thought just in case, we don't want the iron sticking to the foil. Do you get foil that's sticky? I thought... Well, most of them are, but they sold yeah. them. They got me with that. Like double the price. <laughs> yeah, it is. Use me as I am. No need to add oil or butter. I thought you were talking, <laughs> it sounded so wrong then. <laughs> Use me as I am. But what we've got is some uh, a mantle cheese, really good melty stuff. Oh, it smells very strong. Well, that's like the cheese you get in cartoons, what? isn't it? With I thought you meant the foil does. No, the cheese is like the cartoony cheese. It is. Pesky mouse. Then we're gonna stick some ham in. So I'm just covering. Right, and then more cheese on. <laughs> you don't cover the iron. <laughs> you cover the paneer. <laughs> I mean, maybe it would still work, but. <laughs> I thought we were covering. The no. Iron. <laughs> Just no, Becky. You can see now why she married me. <laughs> why? Why can that work? You cover it and then use it as like a plate. That's the lid I goes on. I said I was getting the iron ready. Okay. Can we, can we please wrap this <laughs> and not the iron? Oh dear. In foil. <laughs> well, I bet I'm not the only one that thought we were doing that. So, right. we're in the hotel room. We brought our foil wrapped panini rather than our foil wrapped iron. We now press this okay. down, uh, just put the iron. So do I need to, do we need to put the iron like this then? It's gonna get hot. <laughs> <laughs> no, press it down onto it. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, hang on there. Yeah, but I, do you know what I'm thinking of? I'm thinking. <laughs> you can tell we rehearsed this, right? <laughs> no, you know you did To that. make panini in your room while traveling, in brackets, wrap them in foil and use an iron to heat them or cook them in a miniature frying pan on the burner of your coffee maker. Well, I don't know how many hotel rooms come with uh, miniature frying pans, but um, yes. Well, no, no, in my defense, I'm thinking of that um, hotel room video that you Oh did. yeah, that was years ago, You'd I did wrapped, cooking in a hotel room. You the iron in foil. Yeah, but this is like, we're not gonna like we're take it everywhere, like right, some ready? sort of NASA thing. Watch out. Yeah, go on then. It's hot. Ooh. Make sure you get the whole. What, like this? Yeah, put some weight on it. Ugh, it just sprayed me. Oh yeah. <laughs> just squirted water out the front. Get off. Like a deterrent if she wants to get rid of me, she just don't anymore. It's not very hot, is it? Is it on? Yeah, I just turned the steam to zero. Yeah, it's hot. Oh Jesus, that is hot. Ooh. We'll have to turn the panini over and do the other side. Just giving it that nice sort of flat smooth, smooth edge. Yeah, yeah. You can see this all happening in all the big major like coffee stores now, like Starbucks, they're gonna be like tss, with irons. Yeah, who needs who needs a panini machine? I can resist. I can resist. You were so close. Look, I'm gonna be like this. Would you spray a pug? No, no, don't you dare. Right, true. You won't spray me, would you? Hmm? Should we turn hmm? it over? Yeah, you turn it over. I wash my hands. It definitely looks flatter. <laughs> my fear is that you're gonna slip off and burn my arm with your eye. Yeah, be careful. Stand back. I knew you were hovering. Well, wasn't levitating. I knew he was hovering to have a go, because I wasn't doing it yeah, right. Yeah, well, I like to have a go. It's not every day you get an eye on a sandwich, is it? I can look, look through there. No, because you're going to get I'm not going to spray you. Wow. This is a really good idea. Oh, wow, it's so oh, flat now. Do you think if we take, put the steam on as well, that might hurry it up a bit? The or steam? Do you think it would just make it a wet? No, not too much. <laughs> it's just going to make it wet and soggy there, isn't it? 
Actually, yeah, I might get a wet, soggy panini. Yeah, you don't want a soggy panini. Can we see if it's done? I think it's done. I think it, All look right. how flat it's gone. Go turn the iron off. Let's find out. I think it's worked. Oh my gosh. Look. Ready? Look, the cheese is melted. Ah. It's hot. That has worked. Look at that. Maybe oh could have done with a little bit longer. Yeah, but it's but... toasty. It's toasty. Oh, wow. Oh. That is, wow. That is amazing. Wow. That's, yeah. You can hear that. It's worked, but maybe. It's really worked, but just a little bit longer. So I think we did maybe like three minutes either side. Yeah. Five minutes either side. I think you'd be. That is cool. So do not go and waste your money on the panini machine. <laughs> just use your iron. Yeah, just take your iron with you. Trying it without the foil. But look, it's managed to get it all gooey there. Oh, oh that's cool. Woo! Hot. So there we go, Mrs. B. That wasn't a bad little go, was it? No. As always, we good. have um, done our own version <laughs> of attempting these hacks. And it just goes to show that they don't always work. Or that or we, 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 we did them. We should try them. Yeah. yeah. We did them how everyone else would do them. But if you do have really? any other hacks that you've seen that you want to see us try, let us know down below and put it on the next video. There is a playlist with other ones on there, so check that out. And uh, that's it. Yeah. Subscribe for regular videos and food fun. And we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.